Apple have recently announced their latest MacBook Pro which is now powered by the brand new M4 chip and ironically this year we saw this chip being first launched with iPad and then we saw the recently announced iMac, Mac mini and finally MacBook Pro but how does it stack up against the previous generation of MacBook Pro model? Today we will dive in into some of key differences and performance upgrade and finally uh, you know questions everyone mind should you upgrade or stick to what you have hey there everyone my name is Preetam and you are watching Negitech and in this video we are discussing about the recent announcement of MacBook Pro models powered by their new M4 chips and when I'm saying M4 um, I mean they do have three variant which is M4, M4 Pro and then M4 Max even if we talk about M4 we also saw variations of M4 especially in case of iMac, iPad, Mac mini um, it is quite confusing I would say and to avoid these kind of confusion I have created in store where you will see created list of handpick item no matter whether you want to go for Mac or Windows we have recommendation for all you will find selected and shortlisted high rated product from laptop to desktop to PC component and accessories. I would say with the help of InStore, we want to make sure that you are getting maximum value for the price you pay. Now back to the video. Okay, so we were talking about this new M4 chip and uh, let me actually take you to my computer screens so that we can see these new laptops and their specs and let's see what are actually the new capability that they came up with and there we go guys here we are in our computer screen and you can see i already have open apple website now let me click here on mac and macbook pro and surely we will see this macbook pro and then nowadays they are much more focused on apple intelligence and as we have seen this slide or i would say apple intelligence things I would say these new M4 chips are more optimized for generative AI and in case of this Apple intelligence personally I didn't saw or got too much impressed by Apple AI or Apple intelligence and I would say the reason why uh, it is not that capable or popular because based on Apple they want to take the user privacy very seriously and I really respect that they are focusing that much on users privacy. All right, let's have a look on these new MacBooks and then they will talk a lot without quantifying it. So let me uh, quickly click here on tech specs and uh, also I would like to compare it. And here we go here. Yeah. Let me choose this new baseline MacBook Pro, which is powered by M4. And then I would like to compare it with uh, M4 Pro or M4 Max and then this previous generation of a MacBook Pro which was powered by this M3 chip. So um, I would say in terms of display they are almost same. Um, still you're gonna get similar aspect ratio, similar resolution and technology. If we talk about this M4 chip, I would have selected M3 here actually. So let me select uh, M3 powered MacBook Pro here. And then I'm gonna select M4 powered MacBook Pro. And then let's select this Max one. So um, here you can see in terms of number of cores, now you're gonna have 10 cores instead of eight cores which is really nice and then um, GPU cores I would say are equal and then um, neural cores that is responsible for AI although it seems that uh, you know still they have got 16 neural core engine but this engine is definitely more refined and then you can also see they also have increased the memory bandwidth which basically allow smoother performance for large scale tasks then um, if i go here and choose any particular model the good thing now we're gonna get is the ram now finally will start from 16 gigabyte which i would say is really a great news and here you can see the price also didn't change because previously uh you know we need to pay extra 200 dollar to get this much amount of memory 
So I would say this is a really a welcome change and in a way now MacBook Pro is slightly cheaper. Not only that we can also see in terms of battery life uh, there is a slight improvement in battery life from um, you know the Apple is claiming from 22 hours to now it is 24 hour. Now let's talk more about key quantified improvement. So uh, for that let me go here in tech spec and if we go down here you will see a one more improvement here if you choose either m4 chip or m4 max chip you're gonna get first of all even higher bandwidth than m4 model and here you can see it is even more than twice the bandwidth okay that will be utilized by large data model or let's say rendering apps and then um, we can obviously see the increment in a gpu core so uh, the base model have got only 10 gpu core and then there are two variant of m4 chip one with 12 core cpu and 16 core gpu and another one with 14 core cpu with 20 core gpu even in case of io with m4 you're going to get 3 thunderbolt 4 ports with a support for charging display port and then thunderbolt 4 port have a very decent data transfer rate of 40 gbps However, when somebody choose M4 Pro and M4 Max, they're going to get even faster. And how much fast? Three times faster than the previous generation of Thunderbolt, which was Thunderbolt 4. So I would say we still need to see what kind of device going to utilize this kind of bandwidth or this kind of speed. But uh, definitely uh, we will see it in terms of the kind of external display these devices can now power up. So um, if we talk about the display support here, we can see now even better display support. These both M4 and M4 Pro now can power external display with up to 6K resolution at 60 Hertz over Thunderbolt and one external display. Okay which I would say is really nice thing to have. And I would say 6K resolution is rare to see until unless you are buying something, you know, custom monitor or, you know, Apple monitor. So 6K resolution is not that common. Yeah, there are certain monitor, let's say Apple monitor, they come up with a resolution greater than 4K. But these days, 4K resolution is more popular. And then these ports can basically support a 4K monitor with up to whopping 144 hertz over SDMI, which I would say is really nice thing to have. And I'm pretty sure that they are basically using SDMI 2.1. And then here we can also see one external display can be supported at 8K resolution at 60 Hertz or one external display at 4K resolution at 240 Hertz. So if we talk about, let's say 2K, then it would be even higher uh, refresh rate. So I would say now these MacBook Pros are so powerful that they can handle any kind of monitor with ease. Now let's talk about other uh, notable changes. For example, uh, if I talk specifically of their the most powerful chip, which is M4 Max, now it offer even higher bandwidth of 512 Gbps, which is like 1.3 or 1.28 times higher than um, the M1 Max chip, which had a memory bandwidth of 400 Gbps. So for sure, we are seeing a slight improvement here and there. And of course, they now have optimized their hardware for AI. Therefore, we saw even the base laptop, uh, whether it is MacBook Pro, Mac Mini or iMac, they now come with at least 16 gigabyte of RAM. So in a nutshell, I would say two major updates. So in a way, we can see all these updates are aligned toward making hardware more optimized for AI, which is higher RAM, higher memory bandwidth. And um, if somebody choose, let's say pro version, then they're gonna get these Thunderbolt 5. Okay, now the question now arise, let's say if you are using M3 powered MacBook Pro, should you upgrade it? Uh, I would say no, because still your hardware is quite up to date. But let's say if you have got MacBook powered by M1 chip and you use your MacBook for heavy CPU and GPU intensive task, and then probably now is the right time to upgrade. And if you want to buy a laptop that can handle day to day task and also can sustain the performance for a long time, then for sure you can consider buying the base MacBook Pro. 
and as i said the good thing is that now it at least comes with 16 gigabyte of ram and another good thing about the pro variant of macbook is that the base version also start with at least 512 gigabyte of ssd which is really nice to have and if you like to buy macbook pro then you can pre-order now and it will be available by 8th of november so what do you think does this new macbook pro with m4 have what it take to be your next laptop let us know in comment if you are thinking about upgrading and make sure to hit that like button if you find this video helpful thanks for watching and stay tuned for more such updates and i will see you soon in my next video till then you take care and bye bye